I look rough, but I guess that's the point of this, right? Hey Girl Scouts, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's kind of gonna be like a glow up makeover type video. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow for the first time in four years, about 2017. It's been a while, and honestly, my reasoning behind why it's been so long is because I've just, you know, life has felt very out of control for me, and my hair is the one thing that I've really felt like I've had control over and felt like it's the one thing that I didn't have to change if I didn't want to change it. And my life has been just changing, changing, changing since I came to college. My mental health has been changing. I had a baby. My relationships have been changing. My friendships have been changing. Who I am becoming is changing. Like everything about me and my hair is just one thing that I've wanted to hold on to. When I was in high school, I had hair kind of similar to this but I just started ruining it. I was going through phases. I was chopping it off, dyeing it. I ended up dyeing it with box dye, a dark brown, and it came out like black. My senior year of high school, and honestly, that was probably, probably one of the worst stages in my life. You know, hair really like makes or breaks a person and can make or break your mood. And I just would look in the mirror every day and miss being blonde and miss feeling like myself. And really my hair was a good resemblance of how I felt on the inside and like it was just nasty and fried and like box dyed and really on the inside I felt like I was living in a box and I was dying. I'm just deciding to let go. It's becoming crazy. My baby yanks onto it every single day and rips it out. I'm just bored of it and really just to do something with it so I really don't know what exactly I'm doing I know I want the split ends cut off and I know that I want to get it freshened up we will see tomorrow at 9 a.m. so I'm gonna check back in tomorrow with my glow up oh yeah and if you're wondering what this is my baby <laughs> yesterday when I took her out of the bath I went to give her a kiss right when I went to give her a kiss she went boom right into my mouth and my tooth went into my lip and busted my lip open so yeah so i'm on my way to get my hair done i forgot my camera <laughs> it's been an eventful morning to say the least like almost didn't get a chance to go because almost didn't have anyone being able to watch lila so i'm very glad that i'm actually making it there and still managing to be on time my appointment's in about 12 minutes and i was able to go get a tip from the atm so what should i do to my hair hmm I'm just excited for it to be healthier. I'm excited for me to be able to run my fingers through my hair today and not have this happen, not have my baby do that to me. They're gonna <laughs> look at my hair and be like, yikes, when was the last time you've been here? I'm like, I haven't actually. I haven't been to a hair salon in four years. So maybe once every three months, I'll take little baby scissors and layer off my hair and just cut off like a millimeter. <laughs> And I mean, it really does help, but not for long, and I'm no professional. I'm nervous right now, so I'm kind of rambling, and I feel like those butterflies in my stomach, except I have anxiety, so it kind of feels like I have to shit, and I feel like I have to throw up and cry all at once, and it's really hard to not turn around right now, but I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna be so happy when it's all over with and all said and done. And the hardest part will be the socializing because I haven't socialized in so long. I really am such an extrovert once I'm actually broken out of my shell. And hair dressers, hair saloner, hair cutter, uh, people who work on hair are really good at getting you out of your shell. And oh shit, I just passed it. So I have to turn around. Luckily, I'm still 10 minutes early. So there's that. I'm gonna go now. I'll check back in with you when my hair is done. Ta-da! Oh my god, I'm obsessed with my hair. This was much needed. I feel like myself again. Whenever I get home and I have my actual camera, I'll film like a <laughs> horrible angle. I'll film what I really look like. So I had a hairstylist named Jody. I really shouldn't cut my own hair because literally one side of my head, this side was two inches longer than the other. So I ended up needing to cut a decent amount off three hours and you know it my hair needed some TLC it needed some tender loving care I told her that I ruined my hair by dyeing it dark and that it took forever to get back to blonde and she was telling me all of her horror stories of women who've come in with black hair trying to go blonde 
We talked a lot. I really like her. I feel like this is going to be a hairstylist that I'm going to keep going back to because I love the way she did my hair. And when I was in there, a little boy was in there getting his hair cut and they're good with kids in there so I can bring my daughter here someday, hopefully. I don't know if they do babies, but I could always call and ask. But yeah. This hairstyle is going to make my baby daddy wonder why he doesn't treat me right. I need to like and then come back with like a whole makeup, outfit, hair, glow up. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go catch the baby daddies and my baby's reaction. Hey, it's mama. Hi, I missed you. I like it, very blonde. Very. Hi, do you like my hair? I like it a lot. Wow. Yeah. Well, I would definitely have another baby with you. Well, clearly baby daddy likes it because he got me some ribs. A full rack when I asked for a half rack. I think my sister's reaction though is by far the best. Let me show you it real quick. It looks great. It looks like you're ready for prom. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> my hair did not look this good when I was going to prom. I'll tell you that. I did it myself and yikes. Let me show your two. Cheese. So cute, the first two. So I am putting together these little pictures of her that say, you woke up with a sleepy smile that snuck across your face and then I realized a tiny tooth had finally found its place. And the pictures to match. Didn't mean to start hoarding, hello! <laughs> Just in here glowing up a little bit. happy with this. I feel more like myself again. <laughs> it's crazy how hair really does affect your whole mental health and for years my hair was just showing that I was holding on to something, holding on to my past, holding on to some form of control and it felt good today. Really just letting go of control. Like I was watching her just take off inches of my hair. It's <laughs> She's like, okay, mom, enough of this. You're leaving me? She's so over this right now. The hardest part was that first step was making that call, that first appointment. And once you do it though, you feel so much better afterwards. Once I was sitting in there doing it and talking, it was so therapeutic. And then I look back on it and I'm like, that wasn't even that hard. Why did I not do that for the past four years of my life? I also just wanna mention that this is second day hair. I filmed the rest of my makeover yesterday, but I was wearing a black shirt and when I put it on, I didn't notice that when I would go to like the side, you could just straight up see my bra. So it just feels nice to be looking and feeling more like myself for the first time in years after so many life changes. A very difficult part about getting this haircut was letting go of that control, watching her cut several inches off, not to sound like, not to make it deeper than it has to be, but it was showing that I'm not gonna allow myself to stay stuck in one haircut, one phase, one mindset during my life. I'm gonna express myself again, find myself again, and make myself happy, do something that makes me happy. It's also really important when you're a mom is you're just nonstop trying to make someone else happy all day long that you, a lot of times when you're sitting down at the end of the day, you're like, am I even happy? And I don't wanna feel like that. I wanna feel fulfilled. I want to make over not just the outside, but the inside, just my entire life. After this, I was like, it was so easy. I just waited four years of my life for what? And I think that you should apply that towards really anything that you're just waiting on doing, whether it's starting a YouTube, finding yourself a therapist, whatever. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, right? Barbecue sauce on my titties. Just kidding. I'm sitting here with my mirror. Well, right now I'm in the garage, but uh, <laughs> I was in my bathroom and I was just staring at the back of my head and it is so much blonder on the back of my head and I was just like, is my baby crying? Oh my God. My amygdala just literally had me feel like I heard a baby crying and she's passed out. But I'm gonna show you my hair in this 
lighting. Keep it down, the baby's sleeping. You excuse how messy my bathroom is, but in love. This is so pretty. Like I can't even believe this is my hair. I haven't really had the time yet to stare at my hair in the mirror. I came home and just went straight to mom life. I'm so happy with the results. But thanks for tuning in, Girl Scouts. It's funny because I'm like ending this video looking ugly again. <laughs> So this is what it looks like straight. You can really see how long it is. Post haircut now with it straight. I was talking about how it's important to just not only make over the outside but also the inside. And I've been keeping you guys up to date on my journey with my mental health postpartum. <laughs> Since I've been documenting my mental health, I might as well update all four of my subscribers <laughs> what things are like right now for me and kind of the progress that I've made. I finally have the first appointment scheduled. Yeah. So I'll finally be getting back into therapy, which I'm so excited. It's been so long. It was quite a journey trying to get some help. I started off feeling like I was in a really good place mentally right before I found out I was pregnant with her. And then I had to move and then the pandemic happened and I couldn't find a therapist. I had her, I got hit really hard with postpartum anxiety and depression and struggled to even make the call on my own, which is actually completely normal. And so I had my dad help me. It's vulnerable and kind of scary and honestly really did make me feel childish, feeling like I needed, <laughs> feeling like I needed that help, but he completely understood and luckily my family is truly such a great support system. So they're far away, but they're always here to help when they're able to and I'm just so grateful for that. And so proud of myself for making that step finally. Not only giving myself a makeover on the outside, but eventually getting myself the help I need on the inside. So, that's my update. It would be nice to look back on this video one day when I feel like I'm just in a really good place and just be proud of myself for all the progress I made and all the baby steps. It is kind of sometimes like hard to document it and put it out there but I really remind myself at the end of the day that being vulnerable like this is a strength. So just remind yourself vulnerability is a strength. That's how you heal. Enough of talking about myself and my mental health and my glow up. <laughs> I'm gonna give this baby a walk. Thank you so much. It sounds like she's a dog. I'm gonna go take her on a stroller ride. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching me look better and feel better a little bit. Remember, if you're watching this and you're going through something to just stay strong and you're not alone if you're having a hard time reaching out for help and do little things here and there and it may, that will make you feel better when you can. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Peace out. Bye bye. You wanna wave? She can wave, just I don't know. She's gonna wave at a camera. She will close the curtain on you. Bye.